All right, so I'm out here with my MPCNC today, um, and I was doing some cutting uh, the other day, and I had to hit the emergency stop and um, and reset some stuff, but it brought up an issue that I've been having and been meaning to fix and just have not done anything about, um, and that's the, since I upgraded to the new spindle, the weight of the spindle now causes the um, z-axis to lower when not under power. So right now I'm using this, just this fancy foam block. Um, if I pull this foam block out, you can see that axis just drops until obviously it hits the spoil board. Um, so what I understand, and I haven't tried it yet, but I did buy the parts to try it, is that by switching to a, uh, currently I have a T8 four start lead screw um, this is a T8 two-start lead screw. Uh, so by changing this out, I'm currently running a 24, um, 24 volt power supply. Um, that is also a bit of a, a factor is your power supply. If you can't supply enough power, you may have issues with steps at your stepper motor because when I move to this lead screw, I'm going to have to double the steps that the machine needs to raise and lower the Z. So depending on your motors and things like that, you may actually lose top speed on your Z-axis. I don't find that to be super critical. Um, I know for 3D carving, having a faster Z and a rigid Z can make life better just because it's able to raise and lower a little faster. Um, I'll see, you know, after I switch it, how much of a deal it is. But my understanding is by switching to this lead screw, it should prevent that drop. So once I power up the steppers, home the machine, Z's at the top, if I then disable the steppers, the extra um, resistance from the lead screw um, should keep the axis from falling. So I'm gonna dismantle some things, take some stuff apart, pull the spindle out, and work to replace this lead screw, um, and just see how it goes after that. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna, Switch to a two quick time lapse and get to work on that. And we'll touch base after I've done the swap. That upgrade done. Um, I ended up just cutting the uh, lead screw with a hacksaw. I put it in my put it in my vise and uh, cut nice and clean. And then just use a used a excuse me a belt sander to fix that up. Um, upgrades are never um, you know there's always interesting things when you do upgrades. So in this case, what I found after removing my spindle is that um, I think part of the issue I was having the other day was actually. Um, the spindle is dropping a bit because the housing uh, that's holding it is a little bit cracked. And when I tightened up the screws, uh, you can see here um, in that little bit of corner there. Oh, there we go. Uh, you can see that it's even more cracked now. So I'm going to have to reprint those and get a new spindle mount on. Um, I probably should have printed out a couple. Um, and I'll probably do it out of PETG. Uh, that one is PLA. Um, and hopefully that will help a bit. So that's unfortunate, but I'll get that redone. Not a big deal. Um, but as you can see right now, um, the spindle is idle and it's, it's sitting and just happy. So I'm going to home Z so we can see that it's now under power. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to home it all. So we'll home the whole machine here just to get it. Let me get back here. So there we go. I fix that a little bit. Okay, so it's homed. Seems good. I'm going to move this out just so that we can see it a little bit. Move the axis. And there. So we can see it's over the spoil board now. And on the machine, I'm just going to go 
and disable the stepper motors. Um, so normally when I disable the stepper motors or the machine goes idle, uh, the Z-axis, it doesn't crash, but it did, um, you know, it, it fell slowly back to the, to the spoil board, which um, again was just kind of annoying. Um, meant that I really had to watch if I put the blocker in, if, you know, there was a bit um, in it. Did I break the bit? Did I hit the aluminum? Um, the T-channel on the uh, on the spoil board, that sort of thing. So here we go, disabling motors. Yes. Nice. I can definitely hear that the motors are disabled. Um, that that noise they, they make has gone away. Um, but the Z axis is still in the same place. So that's fantastic. So I'm going to put my, my fancy block here. Um, it's currently not, um, it's not under tension. It's not under force. I'm going to put it there as a, uh, as a precaution. Um, and I'm going to leave it for a bit and just double check that, you know, it is actually holding it up. Uh, and I think if I was to leave the machine for a while, I probably would leave that blocker in place anyways. Um, again, just as a precaution, I generally don't leave bits in the machine, but if I did, I would have that, that knowledge that even if it did sag or slip, um, that my bit's not going to drive into the, again, the aluminum channel and snap an end or, or, um, or whatnot, it's going to be held up. But if I needed to disable it between jobs or whatnot, uh, I would feel confident that it's not going to fall into my workpiece. One of the annoying things was uh, I did have a, a macro that would disable the motors at the end of a job. So it would move to the back corner of the machine and then disable steppers. Um, and it would always fall into the spoil board there. So um, now I don't have to worry about that. I can put that disable back in, move it to the back and disable the steppers. Um, but I don't have to worry about the bit crashing into the table at the, uh, at the back of the machine. So overall, this is quick and simple. I think it cost me um, about $15. Uh, I did buy two different uh, nuts for it. I bought a brass nut and then a uh, a palm nut, like a, a synthetic nut. Um, I ended up going with the brass nut. I had a, a, a synthetic nut on it previously before the upgrade. Um, and when I was looking at it, there was a reasonable amount of wear on that um, nut. So I don't know if that's the weight of the spindle um, versus like a 3D printer or whatnot. Um, but I did swap that out uh, to just a brass nut and I lubricated the um, lead screw with uh, super lube. So uh, I'm looking forward to this mod. It's like I said, one of these things that I probably should have done long ago um, and looks to be working well. So I will get that spindle mount reprinted and we'll get back to work. Awesome. Thanks for your time.